Today we're making a dessert you can indulge in without the guilt. <laughs> no April Fool's joke here. Howard shows us how to make his Fulham black bean brownies in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. Today we're making pickled pig's feet. I'm just kidding. Happy April Fool's Day. It's not exactly a national holiday, but I want to make sure you're aware of it so you aren't the one getting fooled. On the other hand, if you're looking for a tasty way to fool your friends and family tonight, we have a fool and black bean brownie recipe that would be just perfect. Here's how to make it. We start by combining a can of drained black beans in a blender or food processor with some cocoa, a couple of eggs, sugar, a bit of milk, canola oil, and a splash of balsamic vinegar. Yes, vinegar. And to make these rise, we'll add a little baking powder, baking soda, and salt. We give it a whirl and once everything is smooth, stir in some chocolate chips. This gets poured into a baking dish and popped into the oven to bake until the center is set. They'll never guess that you left out the flour and added black beans. Once they're done telling you how tasty these are, be sure to let them know that they've been fooled and that it's the black beans that gives the brownies its fudgy texture. To get the recipe for our Fool and Black Bean Brownies, all you have to do is check out our website. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a foolishly delicious way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. I can personally say I've ate these brownies. Howard made them for me and they were delicious. You should try this recipe. You can find it along with a lot more good food from the Mr. Food Test Kitchen online. Just go to our website at koamnewsnow.com.